Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jordan from Just Tesla. Firstly, I want to say we absolutely smashed the 50 likes. Thank you so much. Could we try and hit 100 likes? I really appreciate it. If we hit 100 likes, I will eat an obscure piece of fruit in the next video. It's a promise. If we hit 100 likes, I'll find an obscure piece of fruit, the obscurest pieces of fruit, and I'll eat it in the next video. I'm hoping to make this video nice and quick. This is about sentry mode and the problems that I've been having and I think you might actually have and you've just not realized it yet. If you don't know, sentry mode is a security system that comes with the car. It uses the external cameras. It uses one, two, three, four cameras to basically film all around the car and it works by, if something works in front of one of the cameras, it triggers sentry mode and they start filming. Um, it's a fantastic system, flashes the headlights as a little warning to people, put something on the dashboard as a little warning to people. It also has a little in inbuilt player on the screen so you can watch it. And to use this system, it takes around 20 to 24 miles of range per every 24 hours to use it. But in my opinion, it is worth it. So, sentry mode is great when it's working. The issue I've been having is, has just got worse and worse over time. So. Before the last update, sentry mode wasn't triggering regularly. In fact, it would only trigger at certain locations, even with the exclusions off, it would only trigger in certain locations. But it got worse and worse over time to the point where now it does not trigger at all. In fact, let's just hop out and have a look how bad it is, how, what you can do to the car without triggering sentry mode. As if I was scratching it. Nothing. Nothing. So as you can see, that's pretty bad. That is not what you want from the system. I have tried everything. I tried upgrading the USB. I'm now using a much faster USB. The one was fine before, I was using the recommended SanDisk 3.0 one. I'm now using a faster one, still no difference. I've tried soft resetting it. I've tried hard resetting it. I've tried powering off the car. I've tried um, changing my home location and the navigation and my favorite location and navigation. I've switched it on, I've switched it off. Um, uh, obviously, I've made sure the Bluetooth wasn't on my phone whilst I was trying all these things in case it was something else. So with this newest update, it seems that there is a huge issue with it. There's something wrong with this new update. Nothing has worked. I've gone on forums and no, no one's really talking about this. So I then called Tesla about this. Let's go cut to that call. Is um, My sentry mode is not working at all. Um, it's, it is, I think it's a bug or something. It's not the memory card. Uh, it's not, yeah, I think yeah. it's, it's quite a known, uh, bug with this, uh, latest update. Okay. Uh, I, th I think it's a firmware thing, so, uh, it, it should be fixed with the next update. Okay. So I can tell you exactly when that would be. Okay, lovely. But, uh, so, he's even said it's not an isolated incident. This isn't an isolated incident. And I only know about this because I'm super paranoid about the car. After what's happened, I'm really paranoid about the car, and when I noticed that I was getting no sentry event triggers, or minimal sentry event triggers, I thought something's wrong. And that's what happened. Um, it started with I would only get like one or two sentry mode triggers, and I'd be like, hmm, usually get more than that. Then it's now it's zero, now nothing. And so I might not be the only person who's going through this, you might be too. So, you might just not have noticed. Here's one thing, here's, here's a few ways of testing it without, without, just to be sure, is, are you getting your normal battery drain? Um, I'm not getting the normal battery drain. I'm getting no battery drain whatsoever. And if I had 
um, if I didn't have central mode on all the time, the battery would last forever because I'm getting minimal battery drain. Usually I lose quite a bit of range for sentry mode. So the fact that I'm not getting that anymore means that the system is not working. Now dash cam is still working, but it's just sentry mode won't work at all. Are you getting any triggers on the, on the car? And even if you are getting triggers, are they less than normal? Because I do, I was getting some triggers at some point and under certain circumstances, I'm getting triggers. So here's my theory. My theory is, is that the car is going to sleep. Now, this is why I think that. When I open my phone app to go to access my car and I'm in the house, it's always asleep. I, it always has to wake up and it takes a long time to wake it up. And I know that's normal, but that isn't normal when you've only just walked away from the car. So just a few minutes after walking away from the car, the car will be in a deep sleep and it will take a while to wake it out of it, which is becoming a hassle because I use my phone as a key, so it becomes a bit of a hassle to unlock it. Um, so yeah, and this has all happened very quickly. It's just got worse and worse over the span of about three or four days to the point where the last few days, it's not worked at all. And I wanted to make this video because I wanted to make people aware that your car might not be protected. This is my way of proving, in a way, that it's because the car is sleeping. So there's a two different times. I'll do, I'm gonna do one where it's just standard. I'll walk up to the car as before, and you can see there's no trigger. And then the other time, I'm gonna put the heated seats on. So I'm gonna go into my phone, I'm gonna go onto the car, I'm gonna put the heated seats on on the phone app, but I'm gonna keep the Bluetooth off, I'm gonna keep the car locked, and I that means to me that the car is awake because it's having to be awake to heat the seats off. And I'm gonna see if that what works with the, the sentry mode. So if the sentry mode works when the heated seats are on, there is obviously something that is putting the car to sleep and not activating sentry mode. Right, first one, I'm gonna have no heated seats on. I'm gonna walk around the car, do a circle of the car and see if it works, see if sentry mode works. Bluetooth's gonna be off. That's a difference between, it, I've had the heated seat in, seats on and the windscreen, the heater on basically, all the heating on, and sentry mode works when that's all on. I don't know if it reports it fine, it reported it fine. So it's gonna have filmed all of that. See, even this is buggy, like the system's really buggy. But watch this, look, and it restarts. Just, it's just buggy, it's really buggy. Um, I'm hoping the new update sorts it because there is issues with this system. So as you can see, my theory was right. The sentry mode works with the heated seats on. Now, heated seats use a lot of range up, so I can't, I simply can't leave the heated seats on to keep sentry mode working. It's not gonna work. It does work, but there is obviously a bug with this update. Now, the guy at Tesla said, with the new update, there is gonna be, it should fix it. I'm hoping that's the case. But the reason I am telling everyone about this, and the reason I wanna get that out of this is because, firstly, it's my first bug that I found, and it's my first bug that I've assessed. Um, and maybe, hopefully, this insight could help Tesla now. I've looked, I, can't, I don't know where to report this. I don't know where to send this information to. It's really hard to get through to the Tesla team. I'll see if they've got a bug reporting system or software. If not, 
would someone be able to post this um, and share this with maybe one of the Tesla groups or something? There is no way on God's earth that Tesla or Elon Musk will answer my emails. They don't um, answer my um, tweets, but maybe they'll answer one of yours or maybe they'll answer one of the podcast people's or something like that. But there is obviously something wrong with Sentry Mode. Um, I've been trying to fix it. Nothing's working. Now, if anyone's got any suggestions to something I haven't tried, I'd love to hear it and give it a go. And the other reason I was mentioning this is because I've just gone out my way. I bought a... A security camera system for my house it cost me a lot of money and the only reason i bought it is because of the sentry mode being off and what has happened with the car and everything so i bought a security system and just to feel protected and that shouldn't be happening it sh i shouldn't have to do that i should trust the systems enough but i don't do, or do tesla have any responsibility for people's cars getting damaged right now and the answer is no because if you go into the settings of the Tesla, it says that you should not trust the system to protect your car. And so they've got a disclaimer. So that's that's covered. But in my opinion, if that's the case, you shouldn't really be using sentry mode as an advertising point for the car. I wanted to check online just to see if they did or didn't. And if you go onto the website, you can see that they offer sentry mode as a feature. And in my opinion, if, if you can't guarantee that it's gonna work, then you shouldn't really be using it as a advertising point for the car because some people might buy the car based on sentry mode or, or that'd be one of the, the contributing factors. Like I did, it was one of the contributing factors to me buying a Tesla was the fact that it had such a good security system um so it may be the fact that they use it for advertising they, they use it as a, po a, a sales point there should be some accountability but you know it is what it is i want you guys to know to make sure that your car is safe because if your sentry mode isn't working then you need to you need to test it out you need to check it and obviously you need to keep your car safe go test yours out go test yours out test it out for yourself let me know if your sentry mode isn't working as well. I don't, I don't know if I said this enough. Um, so obviously there's a problem with the system. This is quite good data for Tesla to, um, to be able to fix it. It works when the heating's on. So I'm guessing keeping the car awake, the car's going to sleep by itself for some reason. I'm not the only one who's got this bug with the sentry mode. Um, but this is the reason, I, I don't know if I reiterated this enough. But this is where the Tesla community, I'm quite critical of the Tesla community, but this is where the Tesla community can make a difference. And if we can get this information, they don't even have to share the video, but if people can share this information with Tesla, um, Elon and people like that, then hopefully they can fix this. Because the longer I go and the longer you guys go without camera, your sentry mode working, that better chance you have of something bad happening to your car, like me without it getting filmed so yeah this is where the community this is where i think the community is supposed to work together and um on the forums and all that sort of stuff like let's get this information doesn't have to be my video could just be the information over to tesla uh, if enough people talk about it and, and let them know then maybe they'll fix it straight away it's probably something they could do over the air i suspect it is so anyway sorry again bye bye also Another massive favor. I noticed some of you guys who are watching it aren't subscribed. If you could just subscribe, please. It helps so much. Um, just trying to grow this channel as quickly as I can. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. I want to keep it short and sweet. So, adios.